New concerns tonight about vaping and e-cigarettes. Over the past few months, vaping-related explosions have led to fires and injuries. The head of the FDA now calls vaping an epidemic. Eyewitness News reporter Dave Faraday investigated the dangers, and we must warn you, some of the photos in Dave's report are graphic. Josh Bumgarner showed us what's left of his front teeth after an explosion while vaping. These are pictures from this past summer as he recovered at a local hospital. Bumgarner believes the explosion happened because he put a friend's vape together the wrong way. And then put it into my mouth and started to inhale. I started feeling it get really hot and I couldn't get it away from my mouth fast enough and the next I heard a loud explosion. There have been several documented cases nationwide of explosions and fires from misuse of the devices and improper storage of batteries. The United States Fire Administration reviewed 195 reports of e-cigarette related fires and explosions from 2009 to 2016. It found the cigarette's lithium battery a new and unique hazard, saying they are more prone to explode. Bumgarner's wife will never forget seeing him seconds after the explosion. He was able, I don't know how, but he was able to get up and run from one end of the house to the other and just say help, and then he collapsed. The American Vaping Association says several of the explosions have happened because the lithium ion batteries were not properly stored. Well, this is the battery. This, this store owner shows one of the cases he uses when he's not using the battery. You know, it does help with like preventing overheating and stuff like that too, and anything coming in contact with the electrical contacts. Spencer Smallwood also told us vapes that are customized can create problems, especially if the proper battery is not used. These are pretty high amp batteries. If there's too much or too little resistance, that could cause a you know, device failure. The other concern is youth vaping. Nationwide, it's estimated more than 2 million high school, middle school, and college students use the devices. The FDA is giving manufacturers until the middle of November to submit plans to stop it. There's an epidemic spreading. The agency is running an aggressive ad campaign to steer young people away from the devices, but there are plenty of vaping advocates. Kelsey Smith says her husband successfully used a vape to stop smoking. I would say that he's definitely not experiencing the shortness of breath anymore that comes along with the, you know, the negative effects of cigarettes. The American Vaping Association says millions of people use vapor products each year, and tragic events are rare. But earlier this year, a vape pen explosion in Florida led to one man's death. The medical examiner said in that case, the victim had burns on about 80% of his body. Josh Bumgarner is thankful he wasn't hurt worse and says he'll never vape again for his own safety and that of his children. I swore off of the vapes. I decided if I was going to do anything, I'd just smoke cigarettes. You know, um, not much different. You know, I know there's health risks there too, you know, but at least I've never had one of those blow up my face. Reporting from Catawba County, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.